and Lugia and so sober. guys welcome back now since last time luckily no changes to my team outside of you know new members and stuff like that but yeah yeah it's been happening like almost every episode of the last few days huh <laughs> otherwise than that though the only changes i did make was i gave iron the dragon claw to make use of our new dragon post move which i taught him off screen also um taught Volta Waterfall. I got rid of Ice Beam for now, but I can just reteach it to him later. You're going to need Waterfall very soon, so make sure that you have somebody um, with it. Lyra! Hey, it's been a while! Mike, did you already collect the gym badges? Yep. That's so cool! The professor is waiting for you. Huh. Why are you here, though? <laughs> Hi, Mike. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Even though I barely have been here, but, uh, okay. Good, good, I'm glad for you. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Ooh, a Master Ball! Nice! The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail! Get it? Yeah, get it. It, it doesn't miss. It's only given to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Mike. Good to know. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful kimono girls looking for you. Oh god, not these stalker bitches again. They're even coming to my fucking hometown looking for me. My people are talking about you. I heard you helped the kimono girls. Yeah, wh what about them? You've been helping all these people. You make me proud to be your friend. Yeah, I bet. Thanks, Lyra. And we never see her again. <laughs> the Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Ecarty, um Dance Theater. Good to know. Alright, in any case, yeah, unfortunately though, even though we could go to the Pokemon League now, um, which is right to the east here, we gotta surf all the way there. But yeah, Lyra is here to stop you from going. So, yeah, pretty much. I wonder what a Kimono Girl wants from you. What is that supposed to mean? That was a random ass thing for her to say. Like, what does a kimono girl possibly want with you? Th that didn't come out right. Huh, whatever. But yeah, Lyra is going to cock block you from going to the Pokemon League. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go and get this little segment done with the kimono girls. Yes, they've been stalking us for the entire game. Now they have, now they have some relevance. So, yeah, we gotta go to the dance theater. Uh, silver! Ha <laughs> ha! Dud! Wow. Berry reference right off the bat, huh? How? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere kimono girls? Silver got defeated by kimono girls? Wow, you really suck, bruh. Hey, dude. You were watching me, huh, Mike? No, I just got here. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating Kimono Girls would be so hard. How hard could they possibly be? I got beaten to a pulp. Wow. Why am I not shocked by this? You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono Girls are insanely strong. <laughs> I beg to differ. Go ahead and go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not... But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. I mean, you're my rival after all. I don't want to see you win when I just fucking got my ass kicked. Out of here. Huh. <laughs> you just saw the way he just slowly walked and then ran. It's, it, it, it's the little things. He must have got his ass royally screwed. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Otherwise than that, though. How's it going, kimono ladies? So, what do you want with me? 
Welcome! My name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. You did? I can barely tell you I can barely tell you bitches apart. In order to bring back Ho oh, oh, we needed someone with, with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery aid to whoever showed true potential. Wait a minute. So you're the ones that gave Mr. Pokemon that egg? Huh. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then to you. However, being pure alone would not su be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Um, I, I suppose so. Do I have a choice? No, you don't. I will test how closely you bonded with your Pokemon. Huh. Well, let's see just how strong you really are. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Took down all these bitches. God damn. I mean, they're not that strong. I mean, one of those bitches, Espeons, almost took out Siege, but not really. In any case, yeah, all five of these Kimono Girls have um, evolutions. So, yeah, Umbreon, Espeon, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. So, there you go, just like in Gen 2. We were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. And we get the clear bell, a new key item. What is this used for? Huh? What the hell? Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over the bell tower. It could be... Uh-oh. Mike, we'll be at the bell tower. See you there. Uh, hey! Dumb bros don't even tell me where the fuck it is. Huh. Huh, oh well, I guess I'll have to figure it out myself. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Yeah, where exactly is it, now that I think about it? Hmm. What's this Pokemon Center? Oh, right, right, I remember. Yeah, viewers, it's the, bu it's the building up here. The only building in Ectic we didn't go to. Hmm, what's up with these monks? How's it going, cue ball? The rainbow hued Pokemon flying gracefully over the tower. The silvery, sparkling Pokemon resting gently under the whirling seabed. All of this is far beyond my imagination. Huh, I can imagine so. <laughs> Pass here is the bell tower. This tower was built as a place to rest for Ho-Oh, the legendary flying type Pokemon. A legendary, huh? Since Ho-Oh left, many people have gone up to the tower to try and bring it, bring it back. But none have succeeded in making Ho-Oh appear. Morty, the gym leader, is, is the one who has tried. I see. That's the Ecotique gym badge. The badge alone would not do any good, but I can't but I can let you through. Please go on ahead. Okay. Now in Gold Silver and No, wait, 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 wait. I think well in Pokemon Crystal you have to fight these monks. They block your way. I I, I think it's the same here in Pokemon Gold, um, back in the day. What the hell? There's no music here. Bell Chime Trail. The one thing I do like about this is that it's autumn, like, all season long here. Pretty cool. Alright, now, the Bell Tower. This area is by far one of the most annoying areas to explore. You'll find out why very soon. Very soon indeed. Um, viewers, you might want to stock up on plenty of fucking Ultra Balls before you pop the fuck in here. Just a small little pro tip. That thing you have. Ooh, shiny. You have done it. Please go through. Uh, radio. All right, viewers and Mac. Just need to um pull up my map. Oh boy. Shout out to um sidepokes.com for their awesome, awesome Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver maps. Oh boy. Because if not for them. Yeah, it would be very fucking annoying to navigate through here otherwise. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see. Where the fuck am I? Damn, we start all the way on the fourth floor? Wow. Wait a minute. Uh... I am, I am on the right floor, right? Oh, god damn. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pay the fuck attention to where you're going. Alright, uh, okay, there's a ladder down here. Uh, God, what is it? 
Yes? Yeah, oh, okay, yes, yes, thank you. Okay, yes, yes, thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. God damn. She's been calling me, like, a lot lately. I mean, I know I've been making a lot of cash, but still. How much shit is she using my money for? Huh. Whatever. Otherwise than that, though, let me, re let me check my notes real quick. Viewers, um, pardon me for this. Um. Wow. Even... Even, even with the map, though, it is it is kind of annoying here. All right, I know. I, all right, I know where I need to go. All right, let's see here. Ah, there you go. Let's see. That leads to an item. Now I got some items here off screen. Spoilers: not my first attempt at this recording, by the way, because you know getting lost is a thing. <sighs> but yeah, that's exactly how the bell tower is. You will get lost. Whether you like it or not. Assuming assuming you have a map, that is. Alright, well, if you have a map, you don't have to worry about getting lost. <laughs> That's assuming the map is accurate. Alright, let's see. No, no uh, damn it, go back up! Damn it. Sorry about that, viewers. Pay attention, bro. Alright, now we gotta head all the way down here. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but, um, uh, gas needs an, um... Gasleys and Ratatas are the only encounters in this place. So, yeah. Thing is, Gasly only appears at night. So, good luck finding it. <laughs> um, this is a dead fucking end. Huh. What's the point of putting this here? Huh. Whatever. Alright, let's see. My notes. Alright, go this way. And... Whee! Now, but yeah, viewers, you guys remember when, um, we did the Dragon Spiral Tower, my Pokemon White LP? How annoying I, that, that section was? I told you guys about that. That was tame in, com in compared to, you know, what you actually have to deal with here. So, yeah. Pretty much. Alright, where am I? Where am I? Yeah, bear with me if I go a little bit slow, viewers, because there's a lot of maps. Because there's like 10 floors to this dungeon. So, you'll forgive me if I go a little bit slow. So, yeah, there you go. Alright, let's see. That way's and Let's try this way, then. Is every way a dead fucking end in this dungeon? Huh, that's what I would like to know. Alright, let's see here. There you go. Really sick and tired of having to constantly go to my menu to redo these fucking repels. Seriously, if only, if only there was a way to have the repel on all the time. Honestly. And just take it off, or turn it off when you need to turn it off. Well, actually there is a way, but... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. There is a code for that, by the way. The question is, should I bother using it? And honestly, I'm kind of leaning toward it. Um. Okay, that's that's not the right way. And unfortunately, I can't go over here. We gotta get to that ladder over there. The only way to get there, though, is. Wow, all the way back there. So I have to fucking backtrack. Are you fucking serious? Wow. Even with a map, I still get my fucking ass lost here. Fuck this dungeon. Ah, there you go. You do not like the bell tower at all. Seriously, it's just a waste of time. And then, the worst part is, you got to do it in order to progress with the plot. Whereas in gold and silver, once you get the last badge, you can go to the Pokemon League. And the legendary can just sit on its ass until you're ready to get it. Which is the way it should be anyway. But no. In Heart Gold Soul Silver, they make the legendary, um, you know, a focal point. Like, oh, you have to get the legendary. If not, um, you know, prepare to start over. Or, or, or rage quit or whatever. Yeah, I know, it's, it's fucking annoying. Just like this dungeon. And of course, even, like I said, even with a map, it is difficult 
to um get through here because 10 floors in this place and all the floors and all these little um step things look exactly the fucking same so good luck with that all right please tell me i'm going the right way now, now I'm not even sure where the fuck I'm going. Oh, God damn it. Now, I know for sure that it was in that little section there that had the, um, those two step things next to each other. Over here. Alright, I just have, I just have to pick the right one. Because if I fuck up, I'm screwed. Alright, it's not that way. It has to be this way then. All right, down. Perfect. All right, finally. God damn. We're not out. Well, we're not out of here yet. You think the thing is? I wish the game would let you know where they, where exactly the fuck you are. And stuff. Like like every time you get to a new floor, it just says, "Oh, bell tower." Which fucking floor is it? I mean, that's the least they could do. Is that you know which floor you're fucking on? Huh, <sighs> whatever. I mean, courtesy is a, is a, is a virtue. All right, that was floor six. We're on floor seven. A few more floors to go, and we're out of this fucking place. Fortunately, now we got little warp portals and shit that we have to take. Yay! Before that, though, ah, let's get this item. Yay! Definitely want to get that max revive. There's only like a couple items in here that's actually useful. Rare candy and max revive. That's pretty much it. All, all, all the other treasures here are just kind of poetry. So if you want to go out of your way for it, be my guest. But as for me, I'm not wasting that time. So, yeah. Alright. Luckily, this is all lettered for me on the map. I J. Okay, so we have to get to the top part then. I I think anyway. All right. Uh, if I go this way, that'll lead me to N. If I go that way, is it J? K. All right. Let's try this way. I probably fucked up, but let's see if I fucked up or not. <laughs> Huh. Well, it led me to an item, so there's that. Yay! Max elixir that I'll probably never use. Alright. Alright, we- alright. That was N, so let's try this way then. No, that just leads back to N. Damn it! Bear with me, viewers. Bear with me, cause this this dungeon is 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 a is a real bitch. So please just bear with me on this. Trust me. Um, I fucked up again. Damn it. Word. All right, slow down. Slow down. Calm down. Gotta go to the right one. Don't wanna fuck this up. Uh, it's that it's that one. It's that one to the left. Just have to get to it. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh. Almost there. Almost there. I hope so, anyway. Please tell me this was the right way. No? Okay, never mind. Then I, get, I got my hopes up. Yay. Calm down. About to freak the fuck out, cause I this, this dungeon is pissing me off. All right, uh, let's go this way then. All right, back this way. All right, now we're back at this section now. All right, that led down. Let's go this way. Almost out of here, viewers. Almost out of here. If you endure it this long, good job. Because my patience is really wearing thin with this dungeon. It really is wearing thin. Alright, um... Alright, there's an item over there. We got that already. 
Alright, finally, last floor. And looks like somebody was trying to call me. I don't know who it was, but fuck them. Alright, out of here! Or not. Not yet. Soon. <sighs> Luckily, this is the only real annoying dungeon in the game. All the other ones after this are, are you know, fairly easy. Uh, unless you go for, like, the real optional ones. Ah! Alright, last ladder. Finally. Oh, glitch, glitch! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, an episode cannot be complete without a glitch. FINALLY! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, saving my game now. Forward. There you go. Alrighty then. This will be interesting, to say the least. Let's put Shiro in the lead. I think you know why. Now then. Yes, this is where we welcome Ho-Oh. When the dance we practice for many days becomes one of the, with the sound of the clear bell we entrusted to you, then Ho-Oh shall come down from the great arc of the sky once again. Oh. Hmm. Let me dance for you. Whoa. Why these people pay money to see these girls dance? <laughs> wow. Like I said, viewers, Johto is literally Japan. Honestly. Kanto, not so much. Huh. What the? <gasps> Holy shit, it is Ho Oh! Nice graphics. Those are some nice graphics. Oh my god. That's way better than the um than Lugia and Soul Silver. Wow. This is indeed Ho oh, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried only to fail. Mike, your heart and the clear bell and harmony have finally made it appear. Mike, don't you see? Ho-Oh must, must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Really? Wouldn't you agree? I... We barely knew anything about Ho-Oh up to now. So... Uh, I, I suppose so. Well, if Ho-Oh's been waiting for me, I guess it's time to... Ho-Ho get it. Ho ho ho! Because it's time for a legendary boss fight! For it uh, fail. Versus ho ho! Now! Nice. I would think ho ho has some kind of flash entrance in the in the battle though. Kind of like you know, you know, kinda like the red Gyarados, but apparently not. Now unfortunately, I have no um sleeping. Whoa! Starting off with Sacred Fire already? God damn! Instant burn as well. Shadow Ball! Now, you're probably wondering, Mike, are you going to use the Master Ball on this guy? The answer to that is probably going to be yes, but I want to show off Ho Ho's, um, show, show how powerful Ho is in battle, assuming you go the Ultra Ball. It has extra century? Yeah. It's like, I knew you had a fighting type, so I was prepared for you. Wow. Bitch move. Alright. Well, at least. Oh, shit! I, should, I, sw I shouldn't have switched to girls. He, he's weak to a psychic, too. Damn it! But yeah, Sacred Fire is one of the strongest fire type moves. So, be prepared for that to deal a lot of damage. Alright, I show off Ho-Oh in battle. Enough bullshit. We already know how this is going to end. Master Ball, go! One. Yeah! Ho-Oh, get to those eggs! A 
I mean, viewers, you gotta admit, at least I did show up oh, oh, and battled it a little bit before tossing the Master Ball. Because you know the Master Ball was going to work anyway. Oh, oh, Rainbow Pokemon. Fire Slash Fly. Legends claim this Pokemon flies the world skies continuously on its magnificent seven colored wings. Wow. Huh. For a legendary, it's not really shiny, shiny. Hmm. Kind of a letdown. Oh, well. But, yeah. We had to waste time literally coming for these legendaries. Like, this could have waited till later. In any case, you have not only made Ho-Oh appear, but you have also caught it. You are so wonderful. There's nothing more for us to say. Take care of yourself and your journey. Huh, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks for wasting my time. Uh, uh I mean, thank you for the legendary. Thank you. All right, we are done now. God damn. No, I, I, I didn't mean to fly to Blackthorn. Damn it. Well, actually, I might as well fly there because I need to heal up my team anyway. But, yeah, if you do decide to go the Ultra Ball route, try very hard to have a, um... Try very hard to have a, um, a Pokemon with a sleep move. Trust me, it will help out immensely. But outside of that, though, whether you're going for Ho-Oh and Heart Gold, or, or um, Lugia and Soul Silver, it makes no real difference. So you basically, you know, try your best and put it to sleep and whatnot. Paralyze it, that also works too. Try not to poison the legendaries because if you go too hard on it, it's probably going to die. So you kind of don't want that. But yeah, just keep chucking Ultra Balls and then, you know... That's it. Just keep trying. Alright, so back home again. This time, we can head to Jo- Uh, <laughs> fail. Johto. No, we're already in Johto, dumbass. It's time to head to the Pokemon League, is what I meant to say. Oh, boy. That bell tower, like, wore me the fuck out. Seriously, it wasn't even a hard dungeon. It was just annoying to navigate through. But if you manage to did that, do that, good job. Good job. Uh, hey. How's it going, dude? Do you know what you just did? Um, I surfed? Is that against the law here? You just took me your first step into Kanto. What? I'm in Kanto? Are you serious? Check your Pokegear map and see. Uh, sure. Let me see. Oh, sorry, that <laughs> that's the radio. Fail. Wow, I am a Kanto. Nice. Oh yeah, there's um Raiko and Entei. Huh. But yeah, depending on which route that you go on, they'll like you'll have a chance of meeting them in the grass. Try and use repels and stuff like that, like max repels. They're the only Pokemon in the game that will appear. Or the roaming legendaries will appear even if you have repels on one. So there you go. But yeah, we're in Kanto. Wow. Let's see. Um, Tojo Falls is near here. A road that crosses from Johto to the Kanto region, like a new journey. Wow. So yeah, we're in Kanto. Well, viewers, there's only one place to go, and that's obviously the Pokemon League. Next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we'll head through Taijo Falls and head to the Pokemon League. What awaits us there on our path? Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for making music for me. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, dudes and do this, Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later.